Hey guys, it's me with Reaper, and well, today I'm doing another dungeon, which is City of Ash 1. You can find City of Ash 1 and 2 in Greenshade, like near the north. And I'd say the closest way shrine would be this one right here, or that one there. Okay? So I've brought out with me Bastion and my Clanfia. So we shall see how this goes. I've just got to remember, well, the route of this place. Um, but yeah. Yeesh. So this has got like a bunch of like Daedra um, in there, this one. So yeah. You know, at the moment there's Banekins and Atronax, which, yay. Isn't that fun? Be careful for when they explode. <coughs> okay, so there's nothing in here. Okay, so then you go through this area and just go down the trunk. Okay. Okie dokie. So there's nothing here. So you can go out of here. You can also jump off of the trunk, but hey ho, I'm not doing that. I have like zero clue as to where I'm going. So do bear with, okay? Um, pretty sure we jump down from there. Okay. I'm just going to go over here. Okay. So they're all just going to run over here. Okay. You know, you always fight everything anyway, so... Well, I do, anyway. I'm guessing that's a layer of Marsalac. Okay, so this... I'm coming up to a boss, which... Um, he's usually the one that people do second, you know, after they do another segment of the dungeon. But hey-ho, we're not like other people now, are we? Nah. Okay, so... Dragonite stuff. God, I didn't realise a Pokemon was in here. So we take out all of these ads first. Okay. So, this is the boss, 1.3 million health, okay, and it's the Infernal Guardian. Basically, it's like the same mechanics as the Lurcher, which means like hitting you, stomping you out, you know, all of that jazz. The, the fun stuff. Bastion is doing pretty well. Oh, someone else is doing a normal cloud rest run. I don't need to do that since I've already done cloud rest for you guys. Same with Lairs of Marsalac. Okay. So 
plus I'm recording this, so <laughs> yeah. See, I just got slapped. But I just need Bastion to use his taunt again. There we go. Oh, Bastion, I think your taunt's run out. Right, and just a few more hits. And dead. Okay, and as well, you can also mount up in this dungeon which is very nice. Okay, I've got the Mind Shriven Horse um, equipped at this present moment. Okay, right, we won't go there just yet. Um, I believe we need to go. I could be so wrong in so many freaking ideas here. Right, it's not there. Um... Is it up here? Yeah, I think it's up here. We need to go. Because it's up. I really don't know where I'm going. And I am so out of practice with this dungeon. Which is completely fine. You know, just as long as I remember the mechanics, we're fine. <laughs> so, let's get rid of this Dragon Knight. Oh, Bastion, where are you running off to? Oh, there's a enemy somewhere, but I don't see them. Okay, also I have no idea where the chests spawn in this area. You know, in this dungeon, so yeesh. Today, the game just doesn't want to give me chests, okay? And... My excuse for that is there's an endeavor, which is um, um, well, pick three locks. The game just doesn't want me to do it, even though I've already done it. I went to Somerset to do it. Because I know where, like, a, a Five to seven chests are just in Eleanor. I've made that eight. I've just counted it up in my head. Okay. Also, in number two, you can like skip through all of this because this part is locked off. So, you know, you just go to where the ending battle is for this dungeon and then go through a portal to the Deadlands. Everyone's favourite place from the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is usually everyone's first boss when they come into the dungeon. But today it is my second. Okay, he's just gonna, you know, whack you with his mace or his maul. Which is completely fine. Oh, burning spell weave. Oh, there's a chest right here. Bear with me as I unlock it. Oh, apparently I have uh, people... Apparently I'm in combat, okay? But I'm not attacking anything and Bastion's not attacking anything, so... Yeesh. And there's nothing on my radar stating that I'm in combat. I believe you can also find a chest here. You know, just before uh, the Warden. 
to as part of the pledge. Same with that lurcher earlier on. Oh god, Bastion. Why are you doing me like this? Ow. Let's use my damage shield. I've also got my clan fear which heals me whenever I use my ability. So yeah, I'm just gonna dance around, you know. This guy is a killer. He's the Warden of the Shrine. But what shrine? Maybe get down for a moment. I don't think it's like, say, you get off of the podium that it restart starts. But just to be safe, I'm going back up here. out of the way but yeah his favorite moves are basically like um i think it's the night blade teleport and just fire i think it's night blade i can't be sure i don't have a night blade but everyone hates them in PvP. It's all I know. Right, a few more hits and he's, he's dead. Okay, now, here, you've got to be careful. So there is, you know, the way that you can just come down. But then there is also this way, which many players take. Okay. Right, there's nothing in here. Right, so jump to the wall. Okay, and you'll take minimal damage. Okay, you can sometimes find a chest here. I believe I found one about twice now. Okay, so we'll now go and deal with these enemies right here to get to the next boss. Okay. Right to There is a lot, but this is also designed for like four people, not a single high elf. Right, so this gate would not have been open beforehand until you've completed, you know, killed the other bosses. Okay. And now we've just got a little, you know, extra boss which is the dark ember which is the um flame action act okay so i'm gonna get out all of the scamps and whatnot first and then focus on the boss you know So they'll do like the flame geysers, just normal, um, flame match knock moves. Now I'm also watching out for the geysers, just to step out of the way, because you know I don't want to get blown to smithereens. Okay. 
probably slow down just to let my magicka recover but we're not here to let magicka recover we're here just to you know complete a dungeon make another video if you will okay there's a flame match knock there okay now here well in a moment there'll be another boss before the very last boss that you go up against so let's kill a few more scamps as you can see the boss bar is all the way at the top when I get to the bottom of the stairs okay well basically the bottom of the stairs I agree for uh, the most creepiest guy in the entire Elder Scrolls universe if you play Oblivion He's actually mortifying. Right, so she'll vanish and she'll make like spawns of herself. They'll be easy enough to take down. Just, uh, you know. And you'll be left with the real one at the end. And Bastions die to flames. You know, these companions aren't the smartest. But, you know. They make do as cannon fodder. Right? Okie dokie. Mate, we're all thinking it. Okay. Now we can let our hell, our um, magicka replenish for a moment. There are banners of Mayroon Dagon all around. Okay. Just a slow little jog over to the oblivion gate which looks so much better in oblivion so and here is the last boss of this dungeon a puny little wood elf really okay and he'll spawn in like Play Matronax, he'll teleport, I believe, in this one. I'm gonna take out this Flame Match Knack real quickly. But yeah. So he's just teleported over here. Oh. And now the chat wants to start talking. And now he's back over to the beginning. I'm on fire. That's always fun. Um, Bastion, we're not done yet. And now he's gone over there, so we'll take out this flame match knock first. And then we'll take him out some more. You know, he's just a wood elf. I don't mind killing them. I mean, it's either him or me, right? Okay, now he's over here. Okay. So now I've got a few flame match knacks on me, which is hey okay. Damage shield up me and Bastion. Right, where is he gone? He's all the way near the beginning. Okay. So, 
another one. I've got a new thing. That's nice. Anyway. While I'm burning. We can then go to Dungeons. City of Ash. So I've got Light. Um, Infernal Guardian. Mask. The Medium. For the um, City of Ash 2. Burning Spell Weave is nearly complete. Ember Shield is nearly complete. And Sunder Flame has recently got a new item. Um, I've recently found out as well that we're going to have a smart loot system added into the game with the next update. Which will most likely be when the next DLC comes out. Um, if not before. But I don't think it will be when, like any time before that. So roughly in about November time. In about six weeks, give or take, um, we'll have a smart loot system which will basically allow me to fill up my sticker book because anything that is within my sticker book at the moment will not drop, um, but anything that is not already there will drop until the sticker book is full and then everything else will start dropping again. But yeah, just thought I'd let you in on that one. If you haven't been keeping up with the Bethesda streams on twitch.tv forward slash Bethesda. Where you can get drops and whatnot. So yeah. If you like this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay safe, stay soul driven and peace out.